Your Google Drive is your cloud storage for the district. You have unlimited storage in your own Google Drive for school. Let's take a look at the left-hand side. Over here at the top, we have priority. This is something new that Google's created, and it prioritizes things that you open and work on most often. It'll put those, those documents up here at the top. Then you have workspaces below that. You can create workspaces with the documents that you're currently working on. So if you have five different docs that you're working on over and over, you can create a workspace with those docs so that they're easy, they're together, you can access them very quickly. Below that you have My Drive. This is your place. This is your place to organize all of the files that you work with. At the top, you have quick access. These are the files that you've opened most recently. Below that, you'll have all of your folders. Any of the folders that have a person icon on them, that means it's shared with somebody else. So if I click one time just to select that folder, over here in the activities, if you don't see this, if you click on the little eye icon, you can see information and details about that folder. So I can look through here and see who all has access to this folder. I can see who the owner is, where it's located in my drive. And then under activity, I can see who has been working in this folder and who's worked in it most recently. Below my drive, you have shared drives. You may have access to some of these. These are places that are owned by a group rather than owned by a single person. As a teacher, you can't create your own within here right now. Below that, you have Shared With Me. This is a running feed of anything that's been shared with you. I often tell people to stay away from here. You can't change anything. You can't organize this. It's just telling you what people have shared with you. And you can see, once you have students working on projects, this just becomes a huge list um, of files. If you want to add any of these to your Google Drive so that you can organize them, you can click on the file one time, and then you can click this Add Shortcut to Drive option. That will then add it to your drive, where then you can put it in a folder and organize it. But shared with me, you can't organize. Recent shows you the most recent files that you've worked on. You can star the files and folders that you work on most often. Things will stay in your trash until you remove them. So realize once you delete something, it's gonna stay there until you actually go in and empty out your trash. You can take a look at your storage if you would like to so you can see what files are the biggest and which are the smallest. Then at the very top, you can search your drive. If you know that somebody sent you something, you really need to find it. If you click the drop down arrow next to the search box that says search options, you can search by a specific type. So I could search just for photos and maybe photos that are owned by me. And maybe I know a folder that it's in so I could choose the location if I want to. Um, you can. If you know that the picture has a certain name, you can search by that. Then when I click search, it's only going to pull up those items. This will really help you narrow down your search once you have a lot of stuff in your Google Drive. Then we have some more buttons in the upper right corner. Ready for Offline will tell you whether or not your files are ready for you to use while you're offline and not connected to the internet. You then have Google's support and you have your settings. If I click on settings and go to settings, I have a few options to customize my drive. I can look at my storage details. Um, I can enable that offline mode. The density will make the space between your files bigger or smaller. If you go into your notifications, you can choose how you want to receive notifications. And then you can also manage the apps that you're using within your Google Drive. Finally, off to the far right-hand side, you have quick access to your calendar, to Google Keep, and to your tasks. 